Happy Jupiter Day. Welcome to Daily Astrology with me, Holy Rose, where I help you to direct your intentions and develop that intuition that's going to lead you to your highest timeline. So for all of you guys um, celebrating this amazing start to Earth Day, happy 420. Um, the sun is at zero degrees Taurus, and I really think that plant medicine is something that like you eventually kind of grow out of a need for, but uh, as recreation, it's, you know, so pleasant to connect with the elements in that way, um, using taste, sensation, and enjoying that bliss that comes from a heart opening with cannabis and herbal uh, steaming. It's so nice. Um, so Jupiter today is at 23 degrees Aries, and right away, it just flashed in my mind, iconic Michael Jordan, and his jersey of the Chicago Bulls was always 23, so... There is something about today. Um, the Inside Degree by Elias Lonesdale is a bottled label drink me. And it's like, what in your life is glowing up and is already so iconic and it's already so defined and you've worked to establish supportive boundaries and how um, are you making room in yourself, in your world? So if you wanted to double down on your plant medicine and maybe connect with some cacao, maybe that's calling you, maybe um, just walking barefoot. I have a dragonfly that's been flying a above the pool for the past like hour because I've just been loving this beautiful, cloudy, gorgeous day. I did a sound bath, that'll be up soon. And um, I'm really honoring how my connection to the land that I'm living on is just bringing in so much joy. Um, I've still been gratitude journaling. I invite all of you all to tap into that wealth of presence. There's so much presence that comes from being grateful because you really have to boil it down to the small things, you know, just having water, just being able to hear and to speak and to do all of the things that I get to do every day. This time last year, I was nowhere near sharing i was nowhere near making music and being public about it and i so look forward to six months nine months one year from now when i'm sharing with you guys in a up leveled variety of ways that are in concordance with all of our highest timelines so for all of you all connecting with me just know it means so much that you leave your comments that you're a part of my healing journey and that i get to connect with you all etherically um, from the heart. So I invite a lot of heart healing in for all my party people over here. And um, I really invite for you to take that journey down the rabbit hole. See where it takes you. Like, don't be afraid to step into authentic curiosity. Don't be afraid to step into authentic gratitude. And when we set supportive boundaries, it's like everything flows in such harmony. And when we set boundaries that um, they don't limit the love of others, but they really allow for your ideals to have space and life and presence for you, just because you are deserving of your own love, then it's like your love is more accepted by others. There's more room in their lives for you. Um, so... Good luck for your transformation. That dragonfly is giving transformative energy, that shamanistic portal. And today's Inside Degree by Elias Lonesdale, this universal symbol of a bottled label drink me. Maybe it makes you big, maybe it makes you small. And maybe that smallness can help you to go into areas that need your attendance, they need your assistance, they need you to step into your authority, and they need for you to say yes or no. Boundaries have been huge for me. Um, in leveling up with my life but even most recently like setting prices because I get to operate a business that is my proprietary concepts like I've been putting in a lot of energy and intention very slowly but intentionally to where I had to face the pain of feeling alone and rejected and maybe unworthy from certain perspectives but I kind of caught on to it and the other day I went to a client who would bring in so much more abundance and allow for me to do so much more creative um, and it was clear to me on that day, just following the feeling of, wow, if I go there, I'll feel really good. And I did the cute, like, 
a close, convenient run before that to connect with a maybe possible client. And it was just, you know, that not even subtle, but it was just like right in my face energy of how far are you willing to go for you in this lifetime? So for all of my uh, star seeds, empaths who have a hard time disconnecting with others' intentions for them, just let them have it. Let them know that this is your time to be iconic. It's your time to shine, to be that Michael Jordan, that 10,000 hour individual at your craft, and then do everything you can to integrate and to merge. Um, if you're looking for that transformation that's super uh, collaborative, it's super um, life affirming, it's very affirming of community whenever you're able to say, no, I can't do that for you, but I will do this. Like this, this uh, metting of judgment towards what's calling you and versus what you're being called to do. And make sure that you give yourself room to have that serendipity, that alignment, that synchronicity, that level up because you deserve it. And there are people out there looking for you to be your authentic self because they want to be them, their authentic selves as well. I hope that made sense and registered. If so, leave a comment. Let me know how it serves you. Blessings on your Jupiter day. And may your day be blissfully abundant. Good luck.